Michael Anthony is a bad mother f f you, Eddie Van Halen, for saying that about Mikey. Nearly every celebrated rock duo has encountered intense personal and artistic struggles that eventually tore apart their close partnerships. From public feuds to heated arguments, these legendary duos reveal that fame and talent often come at the cost of fierce rivalries. Eddie Van Halen and Sammy Hagar Eddie Van Halen and Sammy Hagar pushed Van Halen to new levels of success in the 1980s and early 90s, but their relationship was fraught with frequent conflict. When their manager Ed Leffler passed away, tensions in the band rose dramatically. After a long tour, Hagar's refusal to record a song for the film Twister led to heated arguments. According to Hagar, Eddie called him on Father's Day and launched into a tirade leading to their breakup. A brief reunion in 2004 revealed that old wounds hadn't healed. Eddie's heavy drinking and ongoing disputes created a chaotic final show, which Hagar described as painfully unprofessional. The two never reconciled before Eddie's passing in 2020, closing one of Rock's most successful yet troubled partnerships on a sad note. John Lennon and Paul McCartney John Lennon and Paul McCartney transformed music as members of the Beatles, yet their relationship soured in the 1970s. After the band broke up, Lennon openly criticized McCartney's work, while McCartney responded with subtle digs in his own music. Lennon's song, How Do You Sleep, targeted McCartney directly, intensifying their rivalry. Although they eventually made peace on a personal level, they never collaborated professionally again leaving their partnership as one of Rock's most celebrated yet turbulent. Keith Richards and Mick Jagger As the legendary faces of the Rolling Stones, Keith Richards and Mick Jagger shared a friendship that was as intense as it was volatile. In the 1980s, Jagger's ambition to pursue a solo career angered Richards, who saw it as a betrayal of their partnership. Richards publicly lashed out, even giving Jagger the mocking nickname, Her Majesty. Despite years of tension, they never fully split, driven by the mutual realization that their creative conflict fueled the band's long-lasting success. The Stones exemplify how intense personal clashes can drive artistic greatness, though not without leaving scars that may never fully fade. Axl Rose and Slash Guns N' Roses members Axl Rose and Slash epitomized late 80s rock, but their clashing personalities soon took a toll. Axl's intense perfectionism clashed with Slash's easygoing demeanor, leading to explosive disagreements. Slash ultimately left the band in 1996, sparking years of public insults, including Axl's memorable jab, calling Slash a cancer. Their animosity finally cooled enough for a 2016 reunion tour, though years of bitterness left a lasting mark on the band's history. Roland Orzabal and Kurt Smith Tears for Fears' Roland Orzabal and Kurt Smith saw their partnership fall apart due to creative differences. Orzabal's relentless perfectionism during the recording of the Seeds of Love album became too much for Smith, leading him to leave the band in 1991. After nearly a decade without speaking, they reconnected in 2000 and eventually found success with their 2022 album, The Tipping Point. Their story is one of resilience as they learned to harness their differences, making it one of the rare positive outcomes in rock feuds. Daryl Hall and John Oates Hall and Oates ruled the 1980s with hits like Rich Girl and Private Eyes but personal and professional clashes began to erode their once strong partnership. By 2023, Oates' decision to sell his stake in their business, without consulting Hall, escalated into a lawsuit and a restraining order. Although they had maintained a functional working relationship for years, mainly for live performances, this legal battle has likely ended their partnership for good, capping off a legacy spanning over 40 years clouded by mistrust. Hey, Golden Throwback fans, ready to take a trip down memory lane? Perfect Fifth has you covered with graphic tees that celebrate the music you love. Check out this cassette era design, a tribute to those mixtape days, or vibe with melting vinyl sunset.
bringing back the golden age of records. And, for the Patriots, Stars, Stripes, and Strings, combines music and Americana in a style all your own. Get it for yourself or as the perfect gift for the music lover in your life. And right now, get 30% off your order with code THROWBACK30 at checkout. Click the link in the description to shop now. Perfect fifth, wear the rhythm, relive the moments. Paul Simon and Art Garfunkel The folk rock icons, Paul Simon and Art Garfunkel, began as close friends, but tensions developed as Simon felt overlooked in the face of Garfunkel's fame as the duo's lead singer. Simon's solo ambitions and Garfunkel's interest in acting only widened the gap, leading to their breakup after the release of Bridge Over Troubled Water. Though they reunited a few times, the underlying issues were never resolved, leaving their partnership shadowed by lingering resentments. Dimebag Daryl and Phil Anselmo The relationship between Pantera's Dimebag Daryl and Phil Anselmo was marked by tension and accusations, including mutual claims of substance abuse. In a 2004 interview, Anselmo said Daryl deserved to be severely beaten. Tragically, Daryl was killed on stage by a fan shortly after the interview's publication, prompting an outpouring of anger from fans who partly blamed Anselmo's harsh words. The event left a permanent rift within the band that was never reconciled. Mick Jones and Joe Strummer The clash defined the punk rock era, but creative tensions between Mick Jones and Joe Strummer eventually led to a breakdown. After drummer Topper Hedden was fired, tensions grew as Strummer wanted to focus on punk, while Jones leaned toward emerging styles like hip-hop. Their relationship fully disintegrated after a disastrous concert, leading to Jones's dismissal. Attempts to revive the clash without him floundered, marking the end of one of punk's most iconic partnerships. Liam and Noel Gallagher The Gallagher brothers from Oasis became notorious for their fights just as much as their music. In one infamous incident in 1994, Liam threw a tambourine at Noel during a show, causing Noel to walk off stage. A heated argument in 2000 over Noel's daughter even led to physical blows. Though they briefly patched things up, their ongoing animosity has kept Oasis from reuniting, securing their place as one of Rock's most infamously combative sibling duos. Don and Phil Everly Don and Phil Everly helped shape rock and country music, but their partnership ended in a storm of bitterness. During a 1973 farewell concert, Phil smashed his guitar and stormed off stage, vowing never to perform with Don again. Though they later reunited, their relationship remained strained, illustrating how deep-rooted personal issues can fracture even the closest of musical duos. These rock star duos not only left a lasting impact on music, but also on the history of famous feuds, showing us that fame and friendship often struggle under the weight of success. Let us know in the comments which feud shocked you the most, and be sure to subscribe for more Rock World stories.